Hola a todos, hola Steven. Hola Maram, hola chicos. Which grammar lesson are we going to study today? Today we are going to see another uses for the definite article. Okay. Mm -hmm. So one of these uses is when we are talking about play uh, any instrument. For example, if we want to say Ana está aprendiendo a tocar el piano. Yeah, so Ana is learning to play piano, the piano. Mm -hmm. Here we are using the article L, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, but there is one exception that uh, we will not use article with some verbs as tener, have, mm -hmm. have, necesitar, to need, for example, to buy, comprar una guitarra. So with mm -hmm. these verbs, we are not using article L, okay? Mm -hmm. For example, tengo una guitarra española. I have a, a Spanish guitar. Like uh, the Spanish guitar, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So another use is when, for example, we are talking about play any games. Yes. For example, jugar al fútbol, jugar al tenis, al ajedrez. Yes. So to play soccer, uh, play tennis, play chess. With, with this um, sports, we will use the article. Yes, mm -hmm. but when we when we say that we we are going to do any sport, for example, gymnastic, gymnastic. So we will not use articles. For example, we will not use them with the, the verb hacer. For example, hago gimnasia todas las mañanas. Yeah, I do gymnastics every morning. Or for example, I do swimming. Yo hago natación. Um, okay, another use is for example with subjects yes for example las matemáticas la lengua yes, the mathematics the languages so for example eh, mi asignatura preferida son las matemáticas my favorite subject is mathematics so here we are using the article las matemáticas mm -hmm. okay. um, but again eh, there are some exceptions when we are not using articles for example mm -hmm. with uh, verbs as talk, hablar, saber, know, estudiar, for example, study. Yes. Mm -hmm. For example, Claudia estudia filosofía. Yes. Mm -hmm. Claudia studies philosophy. Okay. Okay. So there is some exceptions when we are not using articles. For example, if we are talking about the army or fight fighters, for example, we will use uh, articles. Yes. El tío de Andrés es capitán del ejército. Andrés' uncle is captain of the army, right? Or, for example, Luis quiere ingresar en la policía. Uh, Lu Luis want to get in into the police. Luis quiere ingresar en la policía. Luis wants to get into the police. So here we use el ejército, la policía, okay? When we are talking about, for example, the radio or television, uh, in the news, for example, we will also use articles, okay? For example, me gusta escuchar música en la radio. Here we are using la radio, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, I like to listen to music on the radio. So, for, but for example, when we want to talk about the device itself, so we will not use articles, okay? For example, tengo una radio nueva. Mm -hmm. yes, I have one radio. And I have one new radio. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about the device. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or for example, me he comprado una televisión. I bought a new television. Mm -hmm. When we are talking about some places, for example, the sea, the beach, uh, the sky, for example, we will also use the article. Yes, for example, es muy sano bañarse en el mar. It's, it's very healthy to take a shower into the sea. To swim in the sea, you mean? Huh? Uh, it is healthy to swim in the sea. It's not swim, it's take a shower. In the sea? Yes. <laughs> to huh? swim in the sea, yes. In English we say to swim in the sea. Okay, so it's very healthy to swim in the sea. It's, there, it's very healthy to swim in the sea. Okay, so when we are talking about, for example, go and came, or be in some place, yes, for example, the hospital, cinema or theater. We will use uh, articles, okay? For example, la madre de Rosa está en el hospital. 
uh, Rosa's mother is in the hospital. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we are using here el hospital. Mm -hmm. En el hospital. Or mm, mis padres van hoy al teatro. My parents are going to the theater today. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we will use, for example, uh, with those verbs, with like ir, or venir, go and come. It depends, yes. So if our noun is masculine, we will get an um, article al. Mm -hmm. Remember? A mm -hmm. plus el. So mm -hmm. we will we'll be together. And for feminine, uh, we will have just a plus la. Okay? Mm -hmm. We just have to remind that. Okay. And that's all. I'm ready for exercise. Some exercise. Okay. Fuego llamada a los bomberos. Can you translate this sentence, please? Fire call to the firefighters. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So ah, uh, we use here because uh, call someone or something, and los bomberos because profession. Yes, because we are talking about profession. Mm -hmm. Okay, hablas español. Mm -hmm. So here we do not have any article because yes. because when we are talking about talk, how the verb talk itself, we will not use articles. Ah, it's an exception. Ah, what does Greek mean? It's the language. Ah, Greek. Greek. Mm -hmm. El griego no es difícil. Uh, mm -hmm. So Greek is not difficult. Yes. Uh, with languages, we use uh, articles, a different article. Yes. Este fin de semana vamos a, a la playa. In the end of this week, we're going to the beach. Here we use uh, la, first of all, because playa is feminine, and definite article because we're going to the place, right? Yes. Has escuchado las noticias? Mm -hmm. So, exact news, am I right? Yes, That's yes, why. because, for example, uh, we are listening something, yes, it's like, we're listening to radio, listening to music, so last mm -hmm. noticias. Mm -hmm. okay. Have you listened to the news? Have you heard or have, have you listened to the news yet? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Susana estudia eh, la arquitectura. Here we are not using articles. Because it's subject. Because study. Remember because there is an exception. Uh -huh. Study what? Study architecture. Uh -huh. But uh, it's like with habla, hablar, we also we do not yes. use articles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if we say uh, my favorite subject uh, is architecture, uh, we say uh, la arquitectura. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Merche uh, hace la gimnasia en el colegio. No, mm -hmm. without, without articles. Here because do any kind of sport. For example, here we are using the uh, verb hacer. So, for example, hacer gimnasia, mm -hmm. do gymnastics, mm -hmm. yes, hacer natación, mm -hmm. do swimming. Thank so, you. here we are like... Nothing. Yes, we will not use nothing. Mm -hmm. El padre de Pepe es general de el ejército. Mm -hmm. uh, Pepe's father is uh, army's general. Yes, right. But here, here is not de él, uh, del. Ah, uh, del es... Okay, I forgot about it. Thank you. So, general uh, doesn't have any article because it's professional. Yes. Uh, la historia es una asignatura apasionante. The history, you say, is a, an exciting subject. Yes. Wonderful. Los Martín tienen... Why Los Martín? That means uh, his family. Oh. Los Martín tienen una casa en el campo. So um, the Martins have a house uh, in the countryside. Yeah. Antonio tiene una guitarra eléctrica. Mm -hmm. uh, we say tocar la guitarra. La guitarra. Bravo. Yeah, but uh, we say in this case una. We say una. One guitar. So Antonio has one guitar, electric guitar. Mm. He comprado una televisión. No, not expression, because Sion always is a feminine. Yes. Okay, okay uh, he comprado una televisión. Uh, I have bought uh, one television. Uh, escucho la radio per, por las mañanas. Mm -hmm. Escucho uh, la radio por, por las mañanas. I listen to the radio uh, in the mornings. In the morning. Mm -hmm. In the mornings. Man. In the mornings. Because mm -hmm. it's all the mornings. 
So guys, help us so with English. How do you say, like, uh, in this case, uh, I listen to the radio in the mornings or just in mornings? I'll be very happy to read. And why, of course. So, un ladron uh, llama a la policía. A, thi a thief called the police. So, yes. even in English, we say call the police. Siempre leo, oh, I don't know, in this case. El periódico. Uh, because uh, read something certain, something exact, am I right? Because, for example, for example, it's the same as in the radio, the radio, the news, the magazine. Mm -hmm. It's okay. written. Mm -hmm. Siempre leo uh, el periódico and después de desayunar. 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 Okay, siempre leo el periódico después de desayunar. I always read the newspaper uh, after my breakfast. Yes. Okay, thank you. Very interesting. Stephen, thank you for your clear explanations, for being a very wonderful patient teacher. And uh, guys, as usual, we wait for your support. You can support our project and send um, money through our PayPal and uh, we wait for your any comments. We'll be happy to read. Mm, negative, positive, doesn't matter. We promise we will not cry if we read your negative uh, comments. But to be honest, we do not care. <clears throat> we care only about uh, positive uh, comments. I'm happy that you are interested in studying foreign languages and studying Spanish. Please uh, share these videos with your friends, relatives, acquaintances, whoever who is interested uh, in studying foreign languages. So, <clears throat> which topic are we going to study in the next class? The omission of the noun. Very interesting. So, cases when we do not use nouns. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Steven, adios amigas y amigos. Adios a todos. <laughs>